Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that mass warps or bends space-time, and other masses follow the bends and curves of that space-time. Here we have a pretty standard setup, essentially a fabric stretched over a circular frame. We'll use this to model space-time, hence the term space-time fabric. This space-time right now is flat and has no bends or curves in it. That's because we didn't put any mass in it. This object we will use to model any large massive object, a galaxy, or it could be a cluster of galaxies, and sometimes even a black hole. Now we'll place the massive object in space-time and see what happens to the fabric. These bends of space-time right here will be what other masses follow. So if I pull out another mass, such as this one right here, let's pretend this is any other massive object, maybe a planet and that might be a star or anything of the sort. Putting this in space-time, it'll start to follow the curves of that space-time, essentially going around in what we call an orbit. This is because the mass is constrained to what we call geodesics. But what happens if we pull out a light particle? What happens to this light particle in a Newtonian gravity situation? Particles that are not massive in a Newtonian framework do not get affected by gravity. But in an Einsteinian general relativity framework of gravity, light still has to follow geodesics. It still has to follow the curvature of the space-time. It has a different path. Nope. When I put a planet in the system, it will follow an orbit and stay in that orbit. So what happens when we put a light particle in this system? When I put the light particle here, it's going really fast, right? So it will not be trapped by the gravity. 